Here.
Okay, no. Hello, we don't want to miss out the story either. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Oh dear. You mean as a compilation? <laughs> Forgiven? <clears throat> you think you've forgotten something? Um, how am I supposed to commentate without seeing what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is telling me you put remember to put on your socks today. You forgot socks, didn't you? Flies? What? Yeah, we do think. I think we did two, like one Atlas Scout and one Atlas Transport, I think. Probably this one we're seeing now. And I just realized that for some reason the freaking microphone was muted. Uh, okay, so in summary, uh, yeah, if after this string we haven't found and we don't encounter the last available uh, ship class that's available. That's which is the biggest one in the game yet, and was originally the second one put into the game. I think if we don't encounter that, I'll uh, I'll keep recording, but I'll be uh, playing this game off off stream and put up together a uh, <clears throat> put together a compilation of anything important, uh, and put that in front of uh, next week's stream of this. If that if that happens, we are getting a bit up in the ranks. Um. Uh, now my, I'm just annoyed with myself. Okay, let's just pick an atlas. We've already done one of these, I think, a scout patrol craft. So let's take a look at these cargo atlases then, and let's hopefully not blow up its reactor prematurely this time. It's on it. <coughs> I know, I know Orion. I know Orion. <clears throat> also, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm recording the uh, VTuber avatar with my with the new camera at the moment. I hope it should be working better though. For some reason, it, for some reason, it kept doing that where it disconnects. So let's see if I can just reset this thing yet again. I, I think this cable is being a bit finicky with the connection piece or something. So yeah, let, also I just realized that I forgot to start the freaking timer. Yay for being an idiot. Uh, let's see, start up the program again, which is VC face. <coughs> Hmm. Uh, not that. Where is it? Yeah, it's not in. It's not hotkeyed here, so I'll just have to. Be... Wait. Seriously, the computer. Hmm? Apparently, it can't find it on a search, so I'll just have. To... Yeah. The game. <clears throat> okay. Let's try this again. V C. 
Did it just... It can't have just in, uninstalled itself somehow. Okay, then I'll just go into here. I put it under documents, I think. Yep, along with all the other uh, VTuber stuff. And then I'll just drag this thing onto the taskbar. There we go. Select that. And immediately it disconnects again for some... Oh, and... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll definitely have to move my computer to uh, get it you know, to not screw around it with this cable as much. Because yeah, it's it seems rather finicky with its connection on the USB hub. And yeah, the cable is too short you know, to get it there immediately uh, directly without <clears throat> without uh, moving my green screen. And wait, we've already done the. We'd already done the demo chart tutorial, so why is it showing that? Yep. A reminder, the... perhaps? For the NBC, I'm not talking. Okay, it, yeah, what, what the, the hell is going, going on here? Audio, 100%. No. It's because of... What? What the other hell is going on here? Um, wait, volume wait, mixer. Wait, did we even start with Somebody sound? Said to vo Ma what is going on with all of this now? Why it there we go. Okay, I just... Oh, I think I... S I think I see what's going on here. It's not the... Game, uh, computer that's screwing around with the sound, it's my headsets or something. Let's see. Yep, for some Wait, reason that it? got disconnected. Okay. Nope, no, not Oculus stuff. That's not even connect. I, I, I missed a, bit a part of what yeah, you said. I can due see to you talking, but I can't hear you talking because this stupid thing decided to disconnect for some reason. Okay, come on, connect. Is this good censoring you for saying the word? Mm -hmm. Connect. It should be auto connecting. It isn't. And of course, the camera fails again. What is going on with all of this? You can keep talking. I can keep not hearing you. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm uh, here still. Okay. Nothing should have a connection to this thing. What? If these things broke, okay. Attempting to connect again. If it fails to connect, I'll just have to pair it up again for. Ugh. Are we having massive amount of diff technical difficulties again? Yep, failed to connect. So, yeah, I'll have to repair this thing. Yes. Oh, now it... Uh, okay. No, no sound still for me. I still okay, hear the yep. sound. Test one, two, three. Three, four, five. Okay, now I got an audio. I, I just have no idea what even the hell happened there. And of course, this... Wait, it's react... Okay, this, that's because it's... Yeah. The avatar is still talking because that's reacting to voice. Not to the actual recordings from the camera. So let's start that up again. If it if it disconnects again, I'm just leaving it behind. Start with that. Remove the interface. And it's not... Uh. Okay, screw that then. Then we're doing an avatarless stream. Because that's not worth the annoyance. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to need to move my computer to get that table freaking stable. 
Uh, and how to take my frustration out on this stupid thing? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, come on, you were. Where is what? that going? Where did it. Uh, there it is. Okay. That should have gotten shoved right into the barge. Uh. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit okay. Yeah, let's just hope that that's the last of the issues we'll be dealing with. Yeah, and uh, ten of us worth eighteen k. Okay. First off, let's go <coughs> into this thing and try and decompress it. And if we can't decompress it safely, we'll just have to find some place. <clears throat> Pardon. We'll just have to find some place where we can, yeah, <laughs> do that with less chance of the reactor going off. Let's see, where is that thing? Okay, those are engines. Uh, where's the... Where's the reactor, then? Is that it? Oh, oh, it's only a class one in these things. Okay. That sort of would also explain why things didn't blow up as hard as they could have before. Now then. I think we should be happy for that. Okay, that area is unpressurized. Okay, both of the areas around here are not pressurized. Pressure level okay. At least we know now where the reactor is. Uh, right underneath the crew quarters. Okay. <laughs> it's a, each their dangerous own. Um. Okay, this one will be for the airlock. Close this door. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Okay, that's just going to pressurize the entire thing. Then... We can open that yeah, up. Is there one on the wall for depressurizing the room? Uh, that's for this one. Ah, alright. Which is Two. unpressurized? Or... wait. Okay, all of this is now unpressurized, so we should be able to open this without any danger three two one okay yeah simple right. class one and okay it looks like we could just cut away to the outside straight from here hopefully so for some reason it seems the game seems to freeze on the first few cuts that you make or not really freeze, but stutter on the first few cuts you make. Okay, that cut a bit more than wanted. And with these two removed, we should be able to just pull this thing out. Yeah, because that's the floor. Yep, okay. And that's going... <laughs> that's going to make this a lot easier to just not have this thing blow up. Three, two, one. Hmm. Huh, we still alive. There we go. This time we're not getting too close, because last time that we did we got shocked. And yeah, I'll just I'll just Reach over to OBS for a sec, remove the VTuber tag, because, yeah, you can't really be claimed to be one uh, when the game is fr when the, the avatar is just freaking not wanting to co cooperate with you. Okay. I'm surprised that went so smoothly. Like, yeah. I think that might be our easiest time removing the reactor. Yeah, it certainly was. Now we're going to have to decompressurize the cockpit. Yeah, wait, wait, so... wait I think I saw something. Mm -hmm. There's a bolt I, I flying saw... around. Yeah, I think it, I think it is one of those uh, screws you dropped. You used to have a uh... screw loose. 
Yeah, I saw that one coming. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was the atmosphere. <laughs> I pro I thought that that was a data uh, disk, but no, it was the atmosphere thing. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, let's see. Uh, that looks new. Yeah, let's just grab all of these posters since they are pretty cheap, I believe. And how the hell do I even? Okay, let's try and get rid of that demo charge manual. Um, let's see. Demo charge. Swap. Yeah, just to get rid of. Maybe get you rid of it. Oh, hello. Uh, Okay, I didn't know you. I didn't know you could accidentally throw those things. And so it da damaged you? No, that was just the thrusters from wear and tear. And I don't know why I keep watching to the camera. Actually, uh, stop a moment. We were this was supposed to be with the VTuber uh, characters, but uh, with character more. Let's see if the camera is going to be more cooperative with just the normal camera works. And that. I'll change that to. There we go. Fix up the lighting because. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that is. Why is it making me look red? Oh, you're that All angry? the normal lights are here. So, it's not from. Okay, I, I, I'm just beyond caring at this point of why, what, and such. Please allow me to test out this new lamp that I got for the background. See, wait, is the, is the chroma key off as well, or something? Uh, let's see. Filters, chroma key. Okay, that's actually working better, but it's still giving up a rather obvious outline around everything. Uh, if I up these, does it remove that partially? Uh, okay. If this doesn't fix reasonably within the next few minutes, then we're giving up on this as well. Um, okay, that seems to reasonably do it, as far as I can tell. I'm going to need a freaking standard for this thing. Let's see. Okay, let's leave it at that for the now. Not now, now. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to need to move my computer to just work with this stupid cable now. I, I don't know how it's... If it wasn't... Maybe it just doesn't... Maybe the camera doesn't like a VC face or something. And why is that still there? Okay. okay. Uh, let's just ignore that and move on with this game. Maybe it's yes. intentionally there so, as a reminder to use them. Uh, the, it would be able. You would be should be able to remove it then. Hmm. Do, maybe that's in the in the gameplay files or something, or the object menu. I mean, maybe. At the very least, this thing is now completely depressurized, so we can safely start cutting. Especially with the <laughs> reactor gone as well. Okay. It says demo shots manual, not demo shots tutorial. Yeah, maybe I accidentally hit some button. It doesn't really matter now anymore. Okay. Just the usual stuff. Find and cut all of the points. And then we can start plucking this thing apart. Nope. Or it can just do that 
it on its own. Okay. Wait. It just popped loose on its own. Well. All right. Let's say just a bit of work. If we are lucky, this might be the easiest ship uh, so far. Yeah, so maybe. Like it, it... Oh, sorry. Yeah, maybe that was all I had to say on that. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't. I still don't wonder if it's even possible to have a one hundred percent. Since we already somehow lost one percent to something. Okay. That's odd. What? What? Oh. Was the air regulator that we, or the atmosphere regulator that we smashed? I would not be surprised. Okay. Yep, there's still a. <laughs> Why the hell was that thing just. Did, did it get torn off the wall or something? Because typically don't. don't they shouldn't be flirting around freely. Then again, the higher you get in the hazard ranks, the more chance there is that uh, yeah, stuff is broken, like doors and well, the atmosphere regulators. Hmm. Uh, for now, that's most of the points. So there. There's still some on this railing. But we'll leave that for when we fully get, you know, when we get back to this part. Because I'm thinking we'll, well, we have to, we'll have to deal with the outside stuff first. Wait, the outsider? He's here? Not that outside. <laughs> <laughs> Still looking forward to continuing with that game. Oh, so am I. So am I. Especially with the some lore I read up that I'll probably we share on uh, next week's stream about uh, a certain giant continent. Yeah, the Pandisian continent. Uh, oh yeah. I, then again, I will save those for the stream when it concerns that. Yeah, it's probably better to share that info on a dishonored stream. Yeah. Okay. That was, that was a bit jittery. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Have to break slowly. it, because this thing is very fragile. We don't need one yellow integrity, integrity point. Oh, it's a tight arm! Okay! Yep. <laughs> Wait, what kind of ship is this? Cargo. Uh, uh, oh. Okay, then the arms make sense. Okay. There is something that could be useful in there, but I believe the only thing we need at the moment. Oh. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Yes. Secured. Yeah, we could go get and we could go good. We could go back there for the fuel or drink. Uh, much cheaper. Now, I still see a few bits here. Is it probably just holding these walls together? Uh, yeah, definitely. Mm. Probably still a good idea to cut them. And, oh, it also lets us find this one that we missed. And somehow cut that through this thing. <laughs> Okay, this is just going to make it easier to separate the furnace stuff from the processor stuff. And whilst we're here, there we go. Okay. Now, I think that should be most. I say that and I immediately turn towards here to find more. Okay. Now I still saw I saw more connection points still in the back there, similar to the other atlas that we had tore apart earlier. Okay. But Smart I think we should. Baggage. Yeah, it's a cargo ship, so of course there's cargo. <laughs> yeah, there's still more in here, but 
Like last time, I think the only way we can get in here is through, uh, yeah, by blasting in somehow. Yeah, let, let's uh, <clears throat> try to empty it first before we do the blasting, for yeah. obvious reasons. Deal with like these cargo containers as well, which luckily we yeah. can't cut. Uh, oh, he said Helix. For a moment I was ready for it to say hell. Well, that is where we are. Uh, Corporate hell. Uh, oh. Alright, I will be in agreement with you there. Okay. Should be most of the stuff. Oh, it's a sensor array. I almost overlooked it as just another piece of the hull. There we go. Now let's open this up and then we start pulling everything off. I'm a bit unsure if, if it'd be wise to put these cutting points on the outside. Because if something were to hit it, it could mean that the entire front of the cockpit might fly off. <laughs> or, well, it would have to hit all four of them. Mm. Would also depend on how crush resistant those things are. Okay. Oh, uh, the entire front of the ship is coming at us. <laughs> Or, well, the front of the nose, at least. Why did you... Why did you just slide off? Yeah, well. Send it off, and be done. Same time, I am happy it's going really easy for us. Though it goes so easy that it's is making me concerned on... Alright, when it's gonna happen. Uh, yeah. There's... When you think things can't go wrong, that is when they usually go wrong. Yeah, they just lure into a false sense of security. And this is what I'm feeling now, that something's not right. Like, the, yeah, the generator went way too smooth. A warrior's decided to easy to remove, same with the front. Yeah, but we'll, we'll get into front. We'll get into trouble probably with the engines, since we still don't know how to really, yeah, work those. Well, you first off turn off the engine. No tethers remaining. Nope. Oh. Okay, it's time to go back then. Then, to remove the engine, you will use a battle axe. <laughs> I don't and think I those are sanctioned so here. Okay, 50k but from that panel. Are you telling me it's not sanctioned to hack an engine with an axe? Well, nope. They kind of want it intact. What about hacking a computer with an axe? <laughs> they just don't want people hacking in general. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> things are starting to push apart. Like a prawn getting plucked. Like... Ready? I've actually never eaten much seafood, or at least not uh, shrimp and such. Wait, that is attached? Oh, there's, there's still something holding these two. No, there isn't. I only okay, uh, in recent years tried, and I kind of like it. As, if you tried to do, tell me that uh, when I was a kid or when I was uh, about 18 or so, I would refuse. But a few years ago, I tried shrimp, I thought, ah, shrimp is not that bad. It's shrimp with lobster. There was, I have tried to buy some uh, shrimp to use for sandwiches, but there's one bit of a problem. And that is? You have to put them on t paper towels just to get rid of all the oil or whatever they put them in to keep them fresh. Okay. And uh, it tastes quite a while. Uh, recently, I made it many towels. Recently, me and my mother had some sushi for dinner, and including with one of the packs that we bought was, uh, yeah, shrimp. And yeah, I tried a few, but I didn't actually think much of it, uh, or how much, how 
people praise that stuff. It could just be because it's not really premium stuff, uh, shrimp. Uh, yeah, for how much people typically praise that stuff as being good and such uh, or tasty, I just found it bland. Could have just been cheap ish <laughs> shrimp. It might be an or it might be in the lucky man case, but they have been a bit too much in a liquid. But you need yeah. to really remove so much of it to be able to taste the shrimp. Yeah, it was it wasn't oily at all, it was dry more. Yeah, I think the oil is to prevent them from getting dry. And yeah. Do I think it, I think they use a better that. Do then again they 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 get a little bit more cooked then. Also possible. Yeah, that's sort of rhymes. Yeah. But, uh, Nowadays, I probably would not buy lobster and shrimp, but if anyone offers me a lobster and a shrimp, I will eat it, but I, I'm not going to bother buying. It's Actually, you know, it's going to take me one or two hours just to get rid of the damn oil or whatever that is. This is a bit too close to the furnace for my liking. Okay. I can see what you mean there, Ken. Yeah, oh, there, there's right, no way a, to squeeze past this. Oh, that doesn't get For more than mistook it for a telescope. Okay, I think I can hear something running through it. Um, hmm. yeah, we can't reach the back there. Which is where Wait, the... Can we upgrade to have a longer reach? Yeah, there is, there is, there's those two points there, but I think they're hidden behind the panel here, right behind this fuel injector. So we can't reach them, even if we did have the distance. So... Yeah. Okay, there must be another way in. Hmm. It has to be. Let's just look it over with an... Actually, we can see with... Yeah, there's still fuel in the system. The off switch is there. So how the hell are you supposed to get in there? Are we supposed to drill a hole? Mm, it would be possible to make a hole through this side... In between, I guess. Yeah, you're... Yeah, obviously be careful. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea of how to get in these things. Hmm. You, you'd think there'd be an access panel or something. Or maybe... Oops. Scanner damage. Injector base plate. Uh, what if... What if we cut this? Uh, oh, right, I forgot. You need to be... If you're not close enough, <laughs> you chuck it. <laughs> Which is exactly what happened earlier. So let's you, quickly you get you it? back. We, yeah, we can disarm them. Let's take a second. Okay. Let's see what this does. Well, that does that. Did it work, or did we just... No, we... Have... Uh... we destroyed part of the system. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> I, I <laughs> you were saying... <laughs> Uh, well, now we can go to the other side and cut the fuel lines off there. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Maybe we can still save this thruster. Uh, the fire is already here. Okay. Actually... Thruster systems breached. Detecting elevated interior volatility. 
That can be good. Well, here it, it is. Uh, the most evaded for the disaster. Well, it's it, this one is still intact. Okay, what? so wait, you you can just cut the fuel lines off. That really sounds like a bad idea to just cut the fuel lines, and that causes the thing to split apart. Okay. I guess it's possible then to just sacrifice the fuel system or the thrusters. How much are you worth? We actually forgot to check that last time. Let's see. Okay, 140,000. Not bad at the very least. And uh, yeah, the rest of that can go into the processor. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we have. We have two more, two more thruster, uh, thrusters to work with uh, to see what does and what doesn't work. I guess this will be the trial error approach ship. Yeah. Uh, those containers are still there. You can go that way. Hopefully that won't bump you into... Okay, didn't bump it there. Uh, yeah. Well, since this thing is open, we might as well dump out the cargo. Salvage and there's a plate I missed. Point I missed. Okay. Nope, let's not hit ourselves with that. Oh, uh, I, got, I, I just got a brilliant idea. And that be marshmallows. There it is still right, burning. Um, well, that they were, and for next uh, yen, um, thrusters you burn. What if I take advantage of the fire? <laughs> oh God! I don't, I'm imagine not sure Weaver's. What imagine if Weaver's expression seeing you in space and roasting marshmallows. I'm not even sure what would happen to marshmallows if you exposed them through a vacuum. They'd probably freeze. Yeah, I almost forgot that part. <laughs> okay. Uh, protector. Okay. You are separate. Oh, not yet. Not yet. We're still keeping these things together. And wait, what? Oh. That. Oh well. I'd send that to the processor. It, it probably got stuck. Oh well. There's plenty more for us to salvage, and we still have. We, we can still get the third point. For now, though, you. That way, you continue on. Oh, yes, I yes, think we it... know. No. It was over there, so it could not have gotten stuck on the wall there. Hmm. Unless it has a gravitational pull. Yeah, the, fur think the furnace does pull if you get too close to it. Okay. Yeah. Oh dear. There. That should save that. Deposited. Yeah, the normal stuff of this thing is a lot easier to work with, but it's the the thrusters that are the main problem, or the main hazards. Still impressive that a, a class one can power these things. It's the first mark. Well, it was very. Really, the ship itself was rather light right to build, so. Might have just been enough uh, to have three thrusters to power it. But True. wait, no, the other way around. One, uh, one, uh, level one generator for the three thrusters. Warning, no tethers remaining. Um, yeah, we can just pull that off. There we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, after this one, I th we can look if we can get some upgrades for the tethers. 
because yeah, we are have running back and forth a reasonable amount for them. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. Wrong button. Oops. I've been playing this game for who knows how long and I still get the wrong button with the freaking shop. <laughs> Okay. Oh dear. Processor bars. Some more small stuff, but still. Actually, probably better to use this. There. Okay, once the next thing starts glowing, that's when you know that you've broken through. That sparking sound also does it. Okay. Alright. You. There. You as well. And then the rest to the processor. Let's see if that's frame. There's another bit of that. Oop, cargo hatches. I overlooked those, but it would make sense that these be on a cargo ship. Are they barge or processing? Uh, these are for the bar. Or, oh, this entire thing is for the barge. Or no? It's, where are you connected then? Let's see. What is holding you in place? There they are. The frame? Uh, here they are the cutting points. See, try not to cut the hatches themselves, because those are valuable. Actually, we can't even cut these. Okay, <laughs> no need to go easy on it then. Oh. You there, and these go down. It's a tail. Go. Okay. Now, let's get to one of these again. After we'll right, uh, that last one. By the way, how is my icon today? Uh, I've not noticed much flickering of it. So I think right. that uh, the, the change that we made did work, which was basically to turn on uh, automate how sensitive Discord is being with the. Uh, yeah, <laughs> speaking. Where oh, it's dear. sensitivity to picking yeah. it up, at least. Yeah, though it was rather... I, I think it, it might be have been some loop or something for... It picked up when there was no sound. For, again, at this tutorial. I could clap my hands near it and ignore my hand clapping. You go there. Kind of curious why these things are pressurized. Or are they? No, they're... Okay, then why does it pop Salvage off like that? Secured. Like Credit it deposited. is... Like there is air escaping. Hmm. Okay. Here goes. Thruster fuel system unstable. Proceed with extreme caution. Wait, what's that mark? Is the fuel shut off? Pull you off. Oh. Quickly, quickly, come on, get out I of thought, there. Uh, I thought it was about to warn us, it's, it's about to shoot out. Um, we could try and dive past it to shut off the fuel, but uh, I'm not sure we want to even try. I, I still have absolutely no idea of how we are to safely turn this stuff off. Oh dear. And there goes the fuel <laughs> tank. And that's the last goal lost, so oh well. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that, there must be some way, but I'm just absolutely not seeing it, unless you are meant to rush forward. Uh, coolant. Okay. Uh, Let's just get this and 
Like, no, we need to pull those off. I didn't notice these before. Yeah, I, I get the feeling we might... Oop. Everything is starting to get damaged. I'm starting to get the feeling that we are supposed to just pull the thruster out and then rush, rush past it to uh, yeah, shut off the fuel. Like, there is no safe way to deal with those or something. Or carefully make a hole on the side. Yeah, that is what we can test on the last one here. Nope. And I repeat, carefully. So we have to scan and make sure we are not blowing into a fuel tank. There. Actually, hmm. What are those? Mechanical regulator. Okay. Let's see. If we cut in, if we put down two detonator meters around now. Hmm. Wait. Why detonator? Wait. Are detonators only thing is strong enough to cut hole in this? Yep. Oh. Okay, I can see... Let's see. Are you? Yes, people, that was a song reference. Okay, if we... Is that? No, that's just outline. If we put one not like that... Hopefully, if we do this, then only this panel here will get cut. Very heavy emphasis on the hopefully. Because I'm not holding out too much hope for it. So yeah, oh, Wait, wait, wait. Do you see the bumps? You can remove the bumps. Yeah, not these. These are part of the paneling. Oh. So, Let's yeah. Destroy that. This is likely to just, just destroy it. So, here we go. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea how to f s safely salvage those things. So, wait. No fire this time. Well, not as much fire. Okay. What's that noise? Did we? Well, oh, I think I. No. Uh, we we blew up the we blew up the fuel tank, but at the same time we also cut off the fuel lines, so the fire couldn't spread. I think. Or maybe. Maybe. I, I, I am completely out of ideas of how the hell to deal with that thing. Maybe. You still have something of extra value on you. Possibly. Yeah, I'll just have to look out how, what it, what needs to be done with all of that. I like to forget. <laughs> Good chance. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Let's get to the second mark, and then we'll call it. Since, well, we, we lost the third check mark, or checkpoint. Just pull the rest of you in there. Actually, we can still, we can still salvage the Quasar uh, thruster. That should give us enough. Yeah, hopefully not that this thing will launch itself into the ferns. Actually, let's make sure that it doesn't. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, we not even any need to do that now, so... Get this thing in. Send this one into there. Running low. And yeah, just we're just chucking the rest of it in the, to the processor. Got the 
Okay, I didn't know that detached. Okay, there is still the airlock in there, but oh well. Oh dear. What are we to do with you? Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, all the tethers broke, and we're out. Yeah. Oh, now this thing is playing tug of war between its parts. Okay. Uh, yeah, that that's not coming back. Oh well, we've got what we needed, so let's just ditch the rest of this thing and not crash into the side of this. I get. Yeah, it's only crash. It's only past uh, 10 meters per second that we can get damage from that, I think. Okay, and shift. 8,000 MP, okay. Oh, this is new. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Okay. Are you all around? Seriously, what is with this guy? I honestly can't tell if he's a sociopath or just incompetent. He's, like, extremely intimidating. Do you folks think we might want to reach out for some support? What kind of support you think? Like, technical support? <laughs> no, Kai. The union. I get why you think you want that kid, but you don't. Trust me. You're talking about bringing the union stuff here? Let me handle it, folks, please. Weaver, no disrespect, but this is turning into something much bigger than our little crew here. The union might help us report this as an official complaint, or maybe mediate a discussion, or... I'm gonna take care of y'all. Same as I always had, okay? Just go on and get them 40 winks, all right? Y'all take care. Yeah, like we said last week, it's like he's actively trying to kill us or something. Or maybe he is act Actually, he could be doing that to push people towards trying to contact Hello, the Union. Breaker. Overnight genetic so they can, uh, yeah, smack them down Pattern on that. Deviation still nominal. got three million. Have a good day. Hmm. So they're just pushing people just to maximize profit. And they know if you die, they you just grow a bigger depth into them. Yeah. So I can't tell if he's being a complete asshole because he's trying to be a union buster. Welcome to the ship, Doctor. Hmm. Let's fix that ship up. Or if he's just regular with this level of asshole. Hmm. Okay, let's repair some things. Oh yeah, that all needs repairs. I think we have we have enough kits for this. We are a bit low with them now. Yeah. Let's see, what can we else upgrade? Uh, range, range, heat capacity. Cooldown, the durability drain we've already gotten. The grapple, let's see. <clears throat> okay, we can't upgrade the amount yet. Uh, push, pull. Is this our own strength? Or, no, that's the. Wait, is that the tether strength or not? It, that's. No, this is the. Strength of our own movement. Uh, let's see. That would cost us most of our Lynx points, though. So let's not for now. Brains on both of those. Heat capacity for 600. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much use in these. There's the thruster speed. We don't really need fuel capacity. Let's yeah. Let's get our let's lower the, the durability drain. That will save us a bit on repair kits. 
And yeah, we can do nothing with the demo charges. We could... Let's see. Improved fidelity of resynthesis. The tech now extends over a greater range, resynthesizing sounds from further away. Uh, yeah, th this is what lets us listen to if there's fuel in a fuel line or such. That is useful, then. And yeah, let's, let's upgrade our suit a bit to be more durable. How is our helmet? Uh, yeah, there's no really need for oxygen stuff since we've turned off the oxygen. Oh, right. We have. Mm. Or what you have. Yeah, to make it e to make it is more easy. Uh, yeah, we are not continuing with this thing. Let's see, heavy cargo, another scout craft, station hopper. We have. Have we tried one of these? I'm not, don't I don't think so. Don't think so. We don't see familiar, but not exactly that one. Okay. We, yeah, we can pull a. Okay, this isn't showing what we. Uh, this is showing what we need. This is just showing what we can find into the in the ship. Wait, okay. Wait, it, its name is the Sharp. Yeah. Um, it looks pretty blunt to me. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. Should be easy enough to get rid of the reactor as well if it's in the same space. Let's see, what are these? Light? Oh. Okay. Headlights and such. Here's our new. And they're worth... Okay, only three... Uh, 3.5k, not too much, but they're easy enough to remove. Yeah, and there are several of them. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. So, what I seem to do to do the amount? Yeah, and easy enough. So, that is Salvage six. So, that's about 20,000 together. Okay. Yeah. Push pads that are connected on the inside. Mm, yeah, at least we don't have to deal with quasar thrusters this time, it seems. Or do we? Wait, uh, uh, where's the reactor yeah, on this we one? Do. Uh, it looks like all of these, yeah, all of these things come with these stupid quasars. And there it is. All right. Let's go for... <clears throat> oh, another... More lights. Let there be light. <laughs> uh, less, but secured. about the same as a normal light, I think. Okay, where is your entrance? Hmm. Is it on the bottom? Hmm. Uh, there it is, at the back. That, it m m makes sense with a, a cargo mover. Okay. Uh, for now, it might bite. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Okay. Here we go. And yeah, just the usual that we'll have to depressurize this thing as safely as we can. Oh, hello. Thank you. Lots of goodies. And I need to remember to keep this thing equipped. Credit drive. Uh, only a thousand still. Every little bit helps. Wait, you found money? Yep. What? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, then. Anything else we can steal for ourselves here? Doesn't look like it. Is that pressurized? No, it's not. Okay, and... Oh, come on. Yep. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. We have a much bigger chance of finding atmosphere regulators that are just completely busted. 
or at least non-functional. So that means that we oh, let's double check. Okay, that has that has atmosphere. So we can open these up properly. Find some more stuff floating around. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of exposed Wild. stuff here. Oh yeah, okay. didn't we need more vi wires? Yep. No. We have a compartment there. That is pressurized. Okay, this is just into the the outer hall. Hmm. Actually, if that is kind of no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, we can just go straight out, though that big thing in the middle is in the way. So. Hmm. Let's get out and remove that before we try much more. Okay. Pressure level dropping. Because if we if we depressurize things in the wrong way down there, then that reactor is blowing up in our face. So we oh, want the entire ship. that. Yeah, always that spurt stutter on the that stutter on the first cut. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I noticed that. I just thought that was on my yeah. end. Yeah, I, I, uh, no tethers. No I think that's the game uh, starting to calculate things as separate objects. Okay. Three, two, one. And it survived. Welcome to Tether. No, oh, nice there we day. go. Oh dear. And oh since we're up here, we might as well dear. try to cut those immediately. Since, yeah, we, we can't cut into the hall anyways. And, yeah, these things are here to protect the, <clears throat> the important bits on the inside from impact, of course. Working a bit better than some of the earlier grills that we've seen. And actually... That's all that's keeping these things attached to them, apparently, as well. Okay. And I see cut point there. Uh, if there's a cut point there, maybe we have a way to access the them um, thrusters now safely. Maybe. For now, though, does that mean that we can move this? Wait, there's more. There's one more piece in the in the dire. I think I saw it yeah. from one angle. Uh, yeah. For, there, there we go. There we go. All right. Then, yeah, this can be moved now. And might as well remove this one. Well, I had just an idea what we could use these for. What then? Spaceship boxing. <laughs> I think that's called ramming speeds. <laughs> no, no, you have two, two of them. You have their little um, punching each other. Okay, down you go. All right. Is there anything else holding that together? I think we should be safe now in removing the floor of the engine room. Again, emphasis on should, because uh, there's a good chance things will still blow up on us. Boom. At the very least, most of the loose bits should be removed. Oh, hello. Foot heard pie for a moment there. Okay. Uh, close this off. Actually, this regulator still works. Let's see how much of the area it can actually depressurize. I believe in general, yeah, the doors will shut. 
Hmm. Oh, that's also depressurized the outer hull. Okay, didn't expect that. Okay. Now, though, time to get rid of the floor. And then the biggest threats will be out. Wait, are you telling me the floor is lava? No, the reactor. <laughs> and we were a bit too close to the power cell there for my own comfort. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay, I think the big thing is still being held somewhat by the smaller bits. It looks more like that's from the, just the wall or something, but just in case... It looks more for internal stuff than actual internal connections. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, what? Everything except for that place? Hmm. Okay. What? Okay, I forgot to check if the cockpit area was pressurized or not. Uh, okay, if we... Okay, I think I know what we can do now to improve our chances of safely moving everything out, or at least getting everything out of the... Wait, why are you... Why are you not working now? Okay, I was thinking we could open... Uh, we could remove the boxes out of there. And then, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, get the boxes down here, put them outside or something, and then open this up to let the air escape into here. That way there wouldn't be as many things knocking around up there to possibly hit the fuel lines and such. Okay. Still not budging. What is keeping you in place? Like the big thing should be loose, but maybe it's just way too freaking heavy. Then we'll just have to work on a side panel. Get that is, loose. Is it the junction cables? Mm, we pat. So, oh, yep. Okay, he accidentally vaporized the circuit board, apparently. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't think there is uh, cable uh, cable work in this uh, ship. Wait, you're telling me you missed them? Oh, wait, is there in here, then? You, you oh. just walked past several of them. Uh, not really walk, but I don't see them connecting to the floor at least. Hmm. And again, we've seen weirder with this stuff. Morning. At least I have. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll just have to see what might be holding on to what. For now, we just need to get out. should be able to escape through here, or one of the walls, or something. Hmm. What are these? Oh, those are the fuel line cut uh, points. It's actually... Uh, why is there a fuel line going into the wall, but nothing behind it? What? Okay. Something should be able to be... Oh, there we go. Just leave it alone long enough, and eventually 
it'll start moving on its own a bit. Push. Okay. There we go. Now um, drag. Oh. Let's move these out of the way a bit. Leave them for later. Nope. Okay, not sure what that is. It's not really a phone. Yeah, but more what the alert is for and such. <laughs> not what I was wanting to move. <laughs> That's the second time now that that happened. Okay. It is moving it very, very slowly. There. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Hmm. Okay. At the very least, there's distance now that we can move these panels through. Oh, low on fuel again. Better to be saved and with that. We have already run out of fuel once and we could just Tarzan our way back, but let's just avoid that. Yeah, didn't you last time you Tarzan uh, basically crushed your helmet almost? Maybe, not sure. I'm pretty sure we hit we I know we cracked the helmet at one point uh whilst going back, but I'm not sure if it was when we were, well, using the, uh, the pole system on its own for that. Yeah, for I do remember you at high speed just crashing into uh, the damn thing. Okay. Pardon? Pardon? Now, what the hell is keeping all of this in place down here? Uh, bolts, screws, glue. Wait, it, so it was loose? Okay. Uh, okay, off you go. It could have just been too heavy for us to manually push. And yes, uh, things, things tend to move a lot more around when you start wriggling things to, uh, between each other. Yep. Okay. Nice and easy. Uh, Actually, no. Uh, we've tried what? that before, and then that thing blew up behind me. Valuable object okay. Deposited. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. And there we go. I was expecting to get shocked again. I hope they expected yeah. to bump into the other things down there and explode. Uh, I think once something is in the barge, it's generally safe or not going to get damaged or cause any more damage. Okay. Hmm. Once more, we have to deal with these stupid quasar thrusters. I, I'd say let's let's lead, yeah, let's let it be. The last of these that we deal with, because yeah, I I just get too annoyed with how we have to deal with these freaking things. Actually, I think the best way to just deal with it is to pull the bar the, the nozzle off and throw the rest of it in there, as whatever whatever. <clears throat> Whatever the fuel system is worth is probably not worth all the hassle trying to surgically remove this thing. Well, I think they would enjoy free gas. Uh, they definitely made it extremely hard to save the gas. Yeah. Okay. One, two. This time, let's also grab the coolant and see if removing that does anything, perhaps. And let's not give that a shove. Actually, an idea that I just had. Coolant will freeze stuff. And Are maybe you? put out the fire? Could that be oh, why the coolant so is there? Is so, like, using them as a fire extinguisher grenade? Yep. 
Hmm. Yes, we, we've looked, we haven't scoured these things completely over, but I think that would... There, we haven't seen access hatches, but it would sort of explain why the hell there's coolant on these things. Yeah, do. Hmm. One would expect it to be, be access hatches. Yeah, there are access hatches, but it's only to these freaking cut points. Okay. You down. You try not to move too much. Well, whatever. It's it's a, it's two thousand kilos, so of course it's going to just move. It's basically uh, over two tons, people. All right. So let's put you in here, and then hope for the best. Got to throw something. <laughs> Not what I was aiming at. Okay. Again. Hmm. It would seem a bit Bonk. different from last time. Probably because there's also <laughs> coolant tanks floating around in there. Though they are freezing the pipelines. Nope. Actually, can we just use you like this? Uh, doesn't seem to be... Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that sort of works. Just as that goes off there in the back there. No, that was the coolant tank uh, thing blowing up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess this works. <laughs> Let's just hope that the fire hasn't spread too far in. And we can still choke it out. So I say that and then I see it at the back there. <laughs> yep, that didn't work. <laughs> Because some progress done. Yeah, but yeah, I guess that is how we are supposed to get these things out safely. We need to freeze the pipes. Yeah, so but yeah, maybe freeze the pipe first, then disconnect them. Maybe. Oop, boom. What? Jump. That's going to Saturn or whatever. <laughs> okay. Actually, let's let's worm this thing in first. Not let get the line broken, and then we just chuck it in the back and let it do its thing. Nope, 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 nope. You're not, you're not visiting your brother. Uh, okay, just freeze the pipes. Let's try not to freeze the thruster. Just then it broke free. Okay. Uh, here go. Oh. You are not freezing us. <laughs> and one of the pipes on froze. Did it come back with vengeance? Yep. Okay. Now, if this is how you are supposed to do this, and uh, I can't say if I'm. Oh. If I'm more impressed or worried. Uh, it's still going in. Yeah, I think it's the still other going are in there. Uh, okay. Let, let's at least test if the frozen one will burn. Fire uh, it's, not. It's, not cause, it's not spreading. Okay. Uh, still won't be able to squeeze through this. 
But you might be soon once you remove it. Yeah, if I count this one though, it mm, the fuel pipeline further down is frozen, so that should not do anything. Uh, this one is also frozen part way down. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I think we figured out how to do this <laughs> with these things. Yeah, maybe it's not correct Oop, way. Yeah. At least we found a alternative way to fix it. Get back here, applied. you. <laughs> team coolant oh, canister. Uh, team coolant canister oh. is blasting off again. Uh, oh dear. Uh, um, uh, um, 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 coolant. Coolant. Yeah. Actually, what happens if we hold this in the fire? Uh, screw that. Oh, no, you don't. You're not getting out. I wish there was a way that we could turn these things as we held them. Imagine we were looking at us and I was wondering what the heck is Helion doing? I think. Oh, I think the, the fuel pipes are defrosting each other. Okay. If this goes badly, we are going to die in the explosion. Do or not. Uh, those fuel injectors are pricey. Yeah, and it takes hmm. an explosion to cleave the damn thing in half. Yeah, I think the fuel injector is what's keeping it uh, held together. Uh, actually, where does this go? It's not lighting up anything. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, that that might be how we have to actually salvage these things by freezing them. Okay. It would be more practical if we had a freeze gun. Yeah, I don't think that links would uh, <laughs> trust us with those. You just you just say for bug extermination. And then they'd give us uh, matches. Wait, what? Have you seen someone hunt a bug with a match? No, but they'd be cheap enough to just give only that. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's restabilize a bit. Now then. What have we with this one still? Okay, just the same. Oh, do, about bugs. I just remembered something I saw on the, one of the MKs or one of the other uh, YouTubers. Apparently, someone was to kill a, a very big cockroach with bug spray. However, he picked the wrong can. Did he get deodorant or something? No, he took a syrup paint can. <laughs> now he had a silver roach. Yeah, a silvery pissed off roach that chased him around. So okay. yeah, he got a paint job and he got pissed. Actually, if... can we still... This should, I think, also... No, it may be not. Hmm. Yeah, this won't. Hmm. Let's see what we can safely move around in here. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Because we have all of these freak. Actually, I should probably leave that in place so that it doesn't get thrown around. Yeah, please be careful. Okay, any fuel switches here? Valuable object hmm. Credits awarded. Yeah, these crates are going to go ac actually. We have somewhere where you can stick these things. The barge? Yeah, just stick them in the airlock. Can 
on. Get in there. Angle it correctly now, Hillian. Oh, there we go. Get in. And get out. There we go. Now that... Yeah, there's not... Now there's only this bag of chips around now. Give, uh, give me. Okay, that wouldn't have thrown the boxes out. But just to be absolutely certain that there isn't anything to move around and hit the fuel tanks. Wait, you seriously think a bag of ships will hit, destroy fuel tanks? Uh, we've seen weirder, so... Okay, so it was weird. loose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> That, that was an, that Ooh. was an oh shit moment. No, I see what you mean. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that, could have, that, that could have destroyed everything in here. <laughs> <Ooh. sighs> <laughs> Uh, with how much I tightened up, I should have gone into the uh, diamond business with that moment. <laughs> oh, Just... I hope so much clips that. <sighs> oh, actually, you want know Hillian? You should. You should uh, clip. You should clip that to put that on YouTube. Yeah. Or something. It is for sharing with other friends, like. <laughs> uh, what am I stuck on? Yeah, just a, the lip of the hull. The lip uh, of the hull? Yeah, just here. Or the lip of all the fish, you call it, you call it the lip? Not sure what else to really call it. Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's just keep plucking this pigeon. Oh, uh, no, it's a pigeon. Salvage yeah, salvage what we can. I don't know what they're here, but pigeons don't have lips. <laughs> okay, now that that uh, moment of terror is passed. <laughs> well, back into the mob. Um, into the mauve, down the throat. Okay, I, <laughs> I haven't seen them spark like that before after you pluck something out. You mean you forgot they do that? Uh, yeah, I guess I forgot because it, it's a it's a week between every time that we play this. Or well, it has been longer since orcs must die, but... Um, well, that opened up the back half. Yeah, uh, at least it wasn't a fuel tank <laughs> that exploded this time. Okay, I think the, the ship oh. just threw something at us. Oh, wait, what broke it there? Yeah, the fuel, or the fuel pipes and such. Wait, so it did light up the fuel pipes. Yep. Uh, what happened there was the console sparked, which set off the fuel uh, tank that got pulled in here, which in turn set off the fuel in the middle of the ship. You have me with the safe side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's maybe keep it to just the first salvage mark or milestone. I guess, yeah, I'm a, I'm getting a bit sick of this type of ship and its stupid thrusters. Actually, screw it. All of you in there. Now, it's certainly going to cost us the third milestone, but I'm past caring. There's the Okay, there's still one. Oh, both are still on. Okay, we can at least get those. 
That should surely get us the first milestone. Uh, it's, it's not that I'm getting sick of this game, I'm just sick of these stupid thrusters. Yeah, I hope they get some feedback on uh, the ridiculousness in uh, how to deal with them. And then again, it, the, the danger of it could be the point of them. This, this is a different company or the, these were made by a different company than the other ships so far. And um, yeah, it could just be that other companies have even worse uh, safety measures than Lynx. And you're still not in there. Tether's depleted. Yeah, Tether's out. Okay, you, this way. Okay, this weighs more than us, which is shown by the little bar on the weight. But we can still maneuver it around a bit. As long as we... Yeah. <clears throat> as long as we uh, pull on it and move ourselves as well. Okay. Then with the stupid... Mule. As long as... Wait. Oh, come on. We have clipped the stupid... Ugh. I'm getting in unstable from these stupid things. At least we know we can use the coolant uh, to uh, make it easier. Come on, get out. The airlock just stuck full. Alright. Yeah, I, I think I can easily say that this is my least favorite of the ship type so far. Come on out. Oop, that's the fuel tank. Okay. I was ready for a big boom. There. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just do not have, like these things. Like getting the reactor out is easy, but these thrusters are just stupid, if you ask me. Uh, one final yeah, hopefully, time. Uh, hopefully, they re we rework them. Okay. Well, if it feels like an oversight in design, like, like there is a button to turn off the gas, but. How do you enter to turn it off if there's no door? Hmm. Actually, we could just leave it like this. Salvage yeah, secured. I'm just done with Credit these ships. Deposited. Let's just zip line out and be Don't. done with this. And... Oh. No damage. I was more worried you were to slingshot past it and, yeah, go to great beyond. Okay, we still got one and a half million from that, and as long as we make more than half a million, we make profit. Good morning, right. Cutter 9346 52. Uh, Friends would like to share the following I, inspirational I get the feeling that this is higher than it started. Oh, yes, yeah, because the demo charge doing. rental. Uh, as long as we make more than 6,000, we're good. Um, nothing different here. Anything in need of repairs? Nothing in need of repairs and nothing much that we can really want. Well, we, there's stuff that we could upgrade, but there's no real reason to upgrade it. Um, wait, wait, we can upgrade to a lifetime? Now that would make them stick around longer. Let's see. The deployment mechanism can be updated to overcharge the tether cartridges between the time one is fired and the next is prepared, leading to longer tether life times. Yeah, so far, we, it's more that they it's more that they aren't strong enough. Why they tend to break, I think. Ah. 
Okay. Next shift. Okay, let's see. Cargo javelin. Nope. A mackerel. Mackerel. Uh, okay, so we just go back to a, a mackerel then. Let's see. It's about 3 million in value. How much is actually on the general atlas? 5 million. Okay. Javelin has 12 million in worth on it. Uh, yeah, it, it has been a while since we've done a mackerel, so let's do that. All right. Um, how are we actually with time? Oh, I forgot to start the timer again because of the mechanical stuff. Yeah, we do have about, I think, 25 minutes. Uh, yeah. Warning. No tethers remaining. I should stock up on those. And this this ship is called Little Neptune. Okay. Oh. Sounds sounds like a cartoon series that <laughs> nobody remembers. Welcome to Vendetron. Oh no, that reminds me. Little Hercules? Or something. Oh, there was a show about him too as well. It was more of, I think I years ago run into a Little Cthulhu show on YouTube. Okay, <laughs> not heard of that before. I, I think it's a bit of a li little joke parody. Like, sure, sounds cute and all, but you do when you listen to the woman talk, you realize, oh, dropping. people sacrificing themselves. Yeah. Maybe not show this with kids. I think this more of a theme for adults to enjoy it for they see there's a little bit of a dog humor in it. Wrapped okay, up this in thing is dirty. Cuteness. Okay. Let's switch to this thing before I send something flying through this place again. So, oh, hello. I should get ready to duck. <laughs> oh, audio found. Uh, wait, is that a shotgun? My darling Chakri, I'm praying to all the gods you have a safe journey to Jupiter. Know that I'll be thinking of you every minute of every day. Make sure you keep your luggage close to you and don't waste water. You've heard of the stories of Mars. Be careful, okay? Remember, Batu, don't look back. Don't let the world break your spirit and always have hope in your heart. I wish I could come with you. But you know it was too expensive for both of us. I'm old now. There's not much time left for me but you. You have the brightest future ahead of you. You have seen me work very hard my whole life and I need you to do the same. My children are like my eyes. I cannot see without them and I cannot live without them. See the world for me. Okay. Wait. Wait. Was that the mother talking to her son or husband? I'm confused. Yeah, maybe, yeah, a younger lover or something, or maybe one of their children. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, for the woman, it sounded seemed to think that she was uh, too old for it. Let's see. If we decompress this area. De I mean, I'll decompress, depressurize this area. And it's weird, she said all the gods. Hmm. So. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of curious from uh, where she is from. Hmm. Wait, what? Where? Oh, don't tell me. There it is. Okay, that complicates matters a bit because that place is still pressurized. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, you go ahead and I'm just gonna uh, hide over here. Uh, okay. At the very least, we can. Remove the floor here. Fire the floor! 
Actually... Oh wait, there's a button! Or... Yeah, we don't have the key or whatever. That's some... Not, I'm not sure if they've... If they're still in the game, but in the biggest uh, vessel of... You know, in the vis biggest class of ship that was in the game previously, you could find... You, know, you could find keys to shut off the fuel lines and such safely. And oh. oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot. The back also attaches to the sides. But... Okay, that's worked out. <laughs> Nothing has set off the reactor. So, uh... And it's pulled this thing clean out. Okay, that was actually decently good. Even if the music is being a bit... Uh... Ominous. Nothing is on fire, right? Oh. Okay, we just lurched forward like that. Okay, there's a fuel leak. But no fire yet. That is mostly good. Because fire is a lot worse than a fuel leak. And this should be just simple. Just detach these points. Are you sure if you leak will turn into fire? Yeah, if it finds a spark. And it that looks like a giant USB. A spark, spark. <laughs> a chunky USB. Salvage deposit accepted. Imagine okay. all the terabytes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all the terabytes of uh, lame links jokes. Okay. That means we need to destroy it. Now, uh, this should stop the fuel leak. Yep, because now there's no more fuel in the pipes. Okay. Could have gone way, way worse than that. But just in case, I'm going to take a bit of distance as I cut that. <laughs> more than wants it as well as long as we make a bit of profit on this maybe you should uh, you know move away the giant shuriken okay we need cables still and this should have cables it long enough. Uh, let's just hope that we don't get shocked this time. Oh, space truck ready for upgrades. So uh, we are able to uh, get one of the endings? Uh, not that, but we can, fix, we can fix the next level of uh, <clears throat> repairs on it. Okay. Uh, Fuel levels are critical. Yeah, wait, this panels are probably going to get me kept together still from all of the other stuff. And that's from the scrap getting launched off the uh, out of the play area. Work area. Welcome to Vivitron 9000. Have a nice day. You may accidentally throw a see things out. Out into space. The, the thing we just pulled the wires out and became useless in the process. Oh That's what uh, that was the uh, quote unquote deduction there. And yeah, since we've over since we'd already been penalized for its damage, it couldn't penalize us twice for it. Now then. <laughs> Don't want the pot of the coolant. Okay. This is safe. There we go. 
And yoink. Now then. Yeah. These high these higher hazards um, mackerels do come with a lot more stuff. Oh, I forgot to pull the antenna off that thing. Oh well. We're doomed. Let's see. There shouldn't be anything in these anymore. Hmm. It could just be lighting it up because it's part of the fuel system. Let's have a listen. Nope, no sound difference. So that should mean that it should be safe to cut. So... Three, a decent... two, one. Yep, yeah, it's empty. Yeah, this this game can still be a bit buggy from now you know, from time to time with things. But they've kept working on it, so I I'm sure most of the bugs will be finished, you know, will be worked out by the time that this game hits full release. Which is I, I believe they said the next big update of this game would be the full release. Okay. So it's soon then. Uh, soon, TM. Could still be some months. I believe... Yeah, this is all... That's all connected to one big chunk together. So, are these tethers strong enough to pull it off? No, oh, they're oh, strong enough to maneuver it. I assume they each connected to Shungus. Oh, I, for a second I thought I hooked it on between something there. Okay, send you off. And yeah, there shouldn't be anything too much more in that. Yeah, only the lights, but we've never really cared about the lights. The only lights we care about are the ones in our own in our own dorm. Uh, okay. Yeah, keeping uh -oh. the lights on. Uh, ah, true, true. You can't see in the dark. Wait. Oh, the airlock still has air in it. Kind of in the name. But, yeah, but where, where would you expect to be in the airlock? Water? Uh, yeah, unfrozen, uh, unlocked water. <laughs> Okay, now all the atmosphere is gone. Hmm. And yeah, we can pull the same trick with this thing once all of the parts are loose. First, though, we need to separate them again. Nice and easy. Okay. And we're doomed. Now we're to <laughs> we're to chop it to squeeze through there. We should be able to get through underneath. Yep. And we still need to deal with the reactor. So... Snipe these from afar. Wait. Oh, that's the inner wall. Why is that moving around? Well, you got the okay. free, so... Hmm. It, it shouldn't be free on its own. It should be stuck to the inner frame. Well, it looks like you cut it off. Hmm. Oh. Continue on, you. Never. Ooh, huh. Suda. I've, I've not seen panels come loose like this before. Uh, that is useful for us, since now we can Wait. just... Was that entire thing electrified? No, it's just uh, the effect from the grapple pulling it loose. Uh, maneuver that away. I, I have no idea why the hell that came loose. Either way, we can just take out the last few points. 
And then we can remove the wall. Okay, it looked for a moment like something was set aflame there, but no, that was just a cutter. That's the big, that's the entire other half of the ship going. Easy now. Easy, easy. Okay, any more? Only... No, that's only the external one still. So we can just pull the rest of the side off. And then, well, have easy access to the reactor. Oh, I forgot we haven't dealt with the reactor yet. Yeah. But, uh, it happened again. Hmm? You took off what the I... lid, not the entire thing. <laughs> I forgot the uh, <laughs> yeah, At least it moved the stupid thing. Okay. You move aside a bit. I still have no idea why you popped free like that. I've never seen a panel <laughs> pop free like that. Uh, careful, there's a power thingy. Yeah. Which oh, is why I moved it away. It. Don't lick it. Yeah, we know what uh, happens to one of the howlers when they did. Salvage deposit accepted. <laughs> no, it wasn't a howler, it was an eyeless. <laughs> oh, hello there. Yeah, it, oh, give God. it thumbs I... up. Thumbs up uh, to the circuit what? board. Oh dear. And also, I just remember why Eyeless brings a bed for me. Creepy pasta. Okay. There's a there's a horror character called Eyeless Jack. Yeah, okay. I don't really. Get... I think the only creepy pasta I really know pardon <laughs> anything about is Sonic.exe. And mostly because of the uh Friday Night uh, Funking mod. Which has been, which is based uh, yeah, for a bit of more context there is a Friday Night Funking mod called uh, versus Sonic.exe or something like that. And it has some really good music in it. Are you telling me you never heard of Slenderman? Yeah, I've also known, heard of that, but I'm not really sure if that one counts as a creepypasta or not. It is. He, he is thought as a creepypasta. Okay. Same with the... Oh, what is his name? Smiling Yak? But yes, there, there's two Yaks. The Eyeless Yak and... Oh, what's the Smiling One's name? I have to look that up at some time. Hmm, might have heard, but just now don't remember much about perhaps. Yeah, okay. the, I don't know. People still remember Slender Man. But I feel like uh, many of the other ones are all sort of falling out. Do I know Slenderman is the only one that has been successfully turned into a game. Hmm. Oh, several games. They have tried with one of the yaks. Though it... did apparently were a bit of uh, Something with it. That they didn't get, uh, really catch the spark of it, him. Yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. I will not blame you for this quite... God, it was way before I even met you. Okay. That's all of the paneling loose. Get on. And um, yeah, I say after we're done with this ship, we'll call it. And yeah, it looks like I'll have to... Well, <laughs> get to the biggest ships uh, on my own with this. Uh, because yeah, it we need we need twenty thousand mastery points to get to the next rank. Warning. Oh. Oh. Not yet, you. You still have cargo. Wrong 
angle. Yep. Can't hear you. Oh, we destroyed an airlock console. No, oh, that was, was still in the in there. Okay. Still one only th small thing, one small expensive thing, but still. All right. Comfy share. Another comfy share. No uh, I, I doubt that these things will be that comfortable. <laughs> Let's ask the Spanish Inquisition about it. Yeah. <laughs> Th that took you a moment, didn't it? Yeah, more from by them, and apparently Ink has snuck into the room. Run. Mm, what are you up to snooping around at the... She was... <laughs> she was sniffing at the lamp. Which is currently just lying on the ground against the trash can. Uh, she's crawling under the bed. This is an... What? What? Yeah, she's crawling under the bed. Oh dear. Yeah, I guess he sniffed it because it was a new thing? Could be. Or it could just be because it's flooding half the room in light. <laughs> Alright. Keep tearing this thing apart. It should be safe to mess with the electricals now. I say as it immediately sparks. No fires. Some electrified stuff, but no fires. I see free gas. Right over there. Yeah, it's it's messing with the wires, but oh well. The, the junction wires can we we can just get rid of the cabling. It's not really worth it. For, oh, I see why we we for, missed <laughs> we forgot to pull the power cells out of this in place. Okay. There. Now the entire thing is without power, and we forgot this panel. It seems. Okay, just don't get too close to the sparking and send that off. Didn't mean to go for the wordless lamp. Oh well. Down you go, and in you go. Heads or tail? I don't think uh well I don't think ship paneling has a heads or tail side. <laughs> Atmosphere. That way. Okay. Then all of this should just be for the furnace. Oh, as I say that I've an air filter. Okay. Um, hmm, how do we get you out then? That's an air filter? Apparently. Uh, looks like something else for me, looks like a... Looks like something that's supposed to attack. Actually... Out of range, and that's the 10 hour mark going off on my... Uh, Fitness tracker. Oh, I'm sorry. Why do you put the stream tracker on ten hours? Oh, come on. What is holding it still now? This thing. The corner. We can't cut that. Yep, it's it's being held in place. Oh no. It's still attached to the frame. Well. Easy enough to deal with. So now do we now those are extra crispy. E free and down to the barge. Yep. Got 
Come on. Um, down to the boss, I said. There we go. Okay, that should have been the last of real value on this thing. Uh, like I said, we'll finish up with this uh, ship, or at least get to the last milestone. And yeah, then we'll call it. Actually, can we see how much we've... Okay, we can see how much we've salvaged so far. Two and a half million. I believe before you couldn't see how much uh, of value you'd gathered during a, you know, <clears throat> during a shift yet. I'm not sure when they added that in, because I didn't pay much attention to it before. And stop <laughs> just short from bumping in. Okay. Pardon yet again. That reminds me, I have to... Pardon. Yeah, I should work on a... Uh, adding a bot to the chat again. To keep track of all of the stupid things that I do. Wait, what? Yeah, some, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, some uh, streamers have a bot where people, uh, where you can put in a, a command to have a timer go up, like for every time that uh, someone sneezes or something. Hmm. So I pretty much lost count of how many times I've had to cough and stuff like that. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, it's better to have a, one of those if you do try to do a try not to laugh challenge. Ah, no. no. Rest of I can really think about it. Something tells me you would uh, fail at trying not to laugh. A good chance. I, mm. I actually watched a few me videos and I. Most of them have been clear been able to finish her flawlessly. The, the only times I actually laughed has not been due to the video, but due to the YouTube laughing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, it would not count for it's the wrong person I'm laughing at. Uh, maybe if we're bored, we could take a look at that sometimes. Now we have still a good amount to go to the next, to the last checkpoint or milestone. I keep I keep changing up the rule, you know, the yeah, words. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oh, pardon. Okay, now we're going also going to add a timer of how many times the tears burp. Wait, you heard the burp? Salvage yeah. Secured. Account credit oh. Applied. Well, you're yes, gonna need to drink more bubbly drink and. Let out a big one sometime then. <laughs> yeah, I might then break your ears, so probably should not. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Wait. Hold on, did I see that correctly, or was that just a coincidence? Okay, it looks like it looked like there was an arrow on that last one what, with the uh, grapple cord or whatever. Okay. And we're just a little bit short. So we can just cut out the glass, and that might be enough. Let's get a good angle to get it through all the way. There. Repeat here. There we go. Back off, so we can cut through the entire length. Didn't cut entirely through. Yeah, they're still here. Okay. There we go. Oh, hello there. There we go. Okay. The rest just goes in there. And we're headed back. I keep turning around my head um, to try and level things out a bit. And here we crush and die in three, two, one. Ah, we survived. I'm surprised. 
sound more disappointed. And apparently we missed this bit. What is that? So, with... Oh, it... Well... It will just be so typical of what will actually end up dying after all that's been happening. <laughs> okay. Let's so I, I think I'm less been... disappointed and more tired. Wait, there was a computer terminal on that? Oh well. Whoops. All of it is gone. And so are we. Three million still from it. Okay. Uh, 9,000 points, okay. Still good progress, but it still takes quite a while to get from one rank to another now. Good morning, <sighs> shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not mm. the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. Okay. Beta recovery. <laughs> Let's see what this has and the other. Wait. Here they are. Hmm? I recognize that computer voice. Yeah. Is Weaver. It is I think it's the same voice actor as Weaver. Okay. Uh yeah, this this is we already heard this. And yeah, let's just get this done. Hi. Here with this annoying thing. Need help with a triple pod bypass? Let me know. Yeah, install that. I finally noticed that it's face icon down there, Success. and it's hideous. Nice job. It's also there. Uh, yeah, still uh, a long ass uh, way to go with this thing. But uh, how was I? Have I been missing for so many streams? Okay, at the very least, we can complete this segment as well. My prognosis is your ship will be awesome in no time. And then we can place this. Hmm. Nice work. Oh. If I had a heart, I'd be proud. Okay, we Success need seven iron coals for the nice next. Owls? Hmm? Coils. Yeah, it sounded like you said iron coals. I thought it would be wet. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that'll be it, though. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it just looks like we've gotten to the point where progress in the story is just going to really slow down with this game. Yeah, so, and I actually yeah. thought I saw a lightsaber on the table. Um, okay, what? It's this thing? it's not a lie. Is is the why well, the thing is a drill? Uh, probably more a welder or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you again. <laughs> mm. Nah, nothing much to say for the moment. But that I haven't already said. So this is just repeating. That uh, yeah. First off, I'm going to have to move my computer to have this freaking cable be stable going to be real annoying if it isn't even after I move it. Uh, I won't do... Uh, hmm. yeah, I might do that tomorrow. I might do that Monday. Uh, I've already tested the games for tomorrow. They all record. Nice. Um, then, yeah, I'll see uh, if, I'm don't, if I'm not going to be lazy with this thing because I'm not sure... If all the cables will be long enough to have it moved to the other side. Some cables will end up shorter uh, because of it. Uh, others, it, yeah, it might just be moved too much. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Hmm. Oh. Uh, in the worst case scenario, I'm going to end up with a thing between my legs. But, but let's uh, try and avoid doing that. That sounds hmm. painful. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I've, uh, I'm going to continue in my own time with this game off stream uh, to try and get to that last uh, ship class. I'll record whatever story bits there will be. Uh, <clears throat> play those before the next uh, on the stream next week. 
And... Yeah, nothing much else beyond that, I think. Mm. This thing has done pretty good work with this green screen, as far as I can tell. So, yeah, I might... I might need to find a better place for it. I mean, it, this... I can see a little bit of haze still over here. I move it there. Yes. Uh, Still a tiny bit, I think. Let's see. I'll have to keep an eye on that I don't roll over the thing. But uh, yeah, no, still a tiny bit. But it's you really have to look for it now, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, nothing much to add then. Anything you want to see add? I got nothing to add, sorry. Okay then. Uh, well, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially, Drakir, as always. Oh, you, oh you're most welcome, my friend. Uh, yeah, tomorrow is Showcase Sunday, and next week we'll be continuing with Death of the Outsider. <laughs> and then you can tell what that it, uh, lore that you found was. But I told you, but not told the others. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confusing myself. But until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for space bunnies. <laughs> I'm watching your pinky. <laughs>